Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show the difference between brightness and luminosity inside of Photoshop. Before I change anything, I just want to establish some base knowledge so that everyone understands why we get the results I'm going to show later on. Um, if we look at a green color, it has 255 green, zero red and zero blue. We can see that in the HSB color model, we have 120 of hue. 100% saturation and 100% brightness. If we were to change the saturation to zero, we get a pure white color. So let's do a copy of our image and go to adjustments, desaturate. Now, this would, if, if this were to work on top of the HSB model, it would turn pure white but it's on a different color model that's called HSL. So all the colors turn into 50% gray. This is the same color model that the U and saturation layer adjustment layer uses. So we have U saturation and lightness. So if we were to remove the saturation here, we get the same results if we, if we were desaturating our image. Now let's do a third experiment. If we go to image mode and convert it to grayscale. Uh, the result we get now is different uh, than from removing saturation in HSB or HSL. In grayscale, we get the perceived brightness. This is what our eyes actually see in terms of brightness or actually our an interpretation of how bright our eyes see because it's not it's not an exact science uh, but a yellow color is always going to seem brighter than a blue color so remember that this is the perceived brightness grayscale converts the colors into perceived brightness so, and if we do another example where we want to see the luminosity, and this is important because a lot of tools inside of Photoshop uses luminosity, so it's very good to know the difference between brightness and perceived brightness. And luminosity is yet another way of looking at the perceived brightness. So, to remove the color in this image, I there's several ways, but one that I prefer is just a solid color layer with 0% saturation. And then I change this into color blend mode. What we see now is just the luminosity. So there we go. Now that I've established that there are a couple of different ways of working with color inside of Photoshop, and you need to know the difference. I'm not going to go into too much technical detail in this video but you can rewatch and see the difference and try it out yourself it's a good way of learning so in hsl the co colors turn into medium gray and in grayscale they turn into a perceived brightness and then we have luminosity which is not the same as grayscale but it's also a perceived brightness so if we go to Luminosity, this is the values that we have. So let's do a practical example. I know a lot of people use uh, the U and saturation layer when they're dodging and burning to remove color. This is a bit tricky to do because you're removing the color in the HSL color model, but when you're changing the color, you're not working in the same color model. So you can get very strange color shifts and uh, weird results because you're look, not looking at the perceived brightness or the real brightness or whatever you prefer. But if you do like this, you would think that all the colors in this image has the same tone. And then if you were to create a new layer, set to color blend mode, and you sample the blue here, and you try to paint on the yellow to move the blue, 
you're not going to be able to because of the difference in luminosity. The color blend mode, the U blend mode, the saturation blend mode, all works on top of luminosity. So if you want to move color using any of these blend modes, for example, if you want, same thing if you want the green on the purple here, it's not going to turn into the same green because they don't have the same luminosity. So my preferred way, as I showed before, is a solid color layer. Set to color blend mode. Here we have the luminosity. And now when we have the luminosity and we can correct If we change the luminosity of a color here, like so, and then we paint on a color layer, like the blue here, we are able to move the blue. And that is because the color blend mode works on top of luminosity. So be careful when you're using this um, type of help layer because it has the U saturation lightness color mode. And now, if we're looking at a couple of different adjustments uh, layers, uh, the curves and levels, they work on top of brightness when they are in the RGB channel. When they are in the channels, the actual channels, they, they work on top of the channel values. And you can see the channel values if you go to your channels. But in RGB, they work on brightness. And if you're using the gradient map to correct colors, it works on top of the luminosity. So if you're using gradient maps to color correct or change colors, you need to be aware that it works, maps out the colors on top of luminosity. And the same goes for blend if actually. So if you're using blend if to blend any layers, it says gray here, but this is actually luminosity. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So I hope you learned something. It might be a bit complex, but I tried to not go into it too much detail. Um, but all you really need to know that there's a difference between brightness, uh, because that's often the HSB color model when we're talking about brightness. When we're talking about lightness, it's often the HSL color mode, uh, color model. Um, when we talk about luminosity, it's a different thing as well, because that's perceived brightness. And if you're using luminosity masks and you create it out of the RGB channel, you're going to get the same perceived brightness as the grayscale. And this is actually not a luminosity mask. So if you where to control click or command click on a Mac and you create a new one. This is actually the grayscale, not the luminosity, which is kind of similar, but not the same thing. So it's good to know that there is a difference. All right, guys, thank you for this video. I hope you learned something and uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, just Leave a comment or contact me on any of the links below. Thank you.